The most challenging engineering program I've ever been involved in is probably the Mars airplane. We were working to develop an aircraft that would fold up into a heat shield, be launched on a rocket to the planet Mars, enter the atmosphere, unfold, and then do about a 90-minute mission with uh, uh, under under rocket rocket power. That was a joint project between our company and and uh, and NASA and, and a coalition of companies. It made it through the Phase B program of NASA's uh, selection, but has yet to fly. So it's something that uh, future Estes Rocketeers working today are. Um, it's still out there as a as a as an accomplishment to to uh, to be completed. Challenge that's common to most projects is um, schedule. You're always fighting a schedule, so knowing uh, what you're up against is a very important thing to keep in mind and to have to overcome. Each project poses its own challenges and everything is different, but something that's common throughout them all is schedule and either sticking to a schedule or kind of adapting to a new schedule when things changes is very important. A few years ago I was working on a project uh, in the defense world and it was to design from scratch a, uh, a product that was going to protect uh, soldiers overseas from being hit from rockets and uh, it was a little bit different than we'd done previously and it was nice to get a challenge of something that was a clean sheet design uh, and kind of be able to create something new and have a very uh, rewarding use for it. I would say my most challenging uh, engineering project was uh, many, many years ago working for a defense contractor. Um, we made computers for military aircraft and we had a project to retrofit all 1000 versions of the computers we made for the B-2 bomber. So going through the analysis serial number by serial number, determining what each computer needed to be retrofit and upgraded was a big challenge. Actually a uh, school project, but it was designing uh, and building as a team, we designed and built a, a rocket and a motor and everything to, uh, to fly at a high altitude launch and it was a lot of fun. It was really challenging, especially in the time frame that we had. But uh, we hit over 35,000 feet, and it was really exciting. One of my projects that I was most proud to be part of um, was called the Waste Treatment Plant in Richland, Washington. Uh, and this plant was cleaning up legacy waste, um, legacy nuclear waste from World War II. Uh, and there were so, so many engineering challenges that came along with um, with doing that cleanup, um, as well as sort of community involvement, um, working with the customer. Uh, so that was not only really technically challenging, but I took a lot of pride in that work because um, what we were doing really actually helped a community um, and improved people's lives. 